Okay, today we're going to look at the Baofeng UV82L. Um, I know there has been some, um, a little bit of talk about the 82L being different than the original UV82. Some say it is and some say it's not. So, I don't own the original UV82, but uh, I do like this this model right here. It was about the same price, actually a few cents cheaper. Um, so let's take a look at it. it. Has a full numeric keypad. On the side, you have the push to talk buttons, and this button, when you push it one time, turns on the FM radio. Holding it down activates the alarm, um, the emergency alarm, which I won't go into very much in detail. Um, this is the monitor button, push it once to turn on the LED flashlight which is on the top of the radio and push it and hold it down to turn on the monitor function. Looking at the top of the radio you have the on and off switch and volume knob, the LED flashlight and the antenna connection. This is an SMA connection, the receive light, the transmit light, on the other side we have the speaker mic plug, this is a two pin jack, if I can get it open, one I assume is for the speaker and the other for the mic. Anyway, on the back has a nice belt clip. I really like it. It seems to stay on there pretty sturdily. Uh, has two screws to attach it, and I only had one screw come a little bit loose, and I've tightened it, and it has not come loose since. Um, the battery written on it, to take it off, you just... Uh, squeeze it and slide it off. Anyway, written on the battery, it says that its capacity is 3000 milliamp hours. And I have read that it is not that many. They say it is 1800, but I've never tested it, so I don't really know. Let's put the antenna on. I don't want to go into a lot of the features today, just some of the basics to turn it on. You turn the power key clockwise, does its little test at the beginning, I'll turn it on again. It turns on the whole LCD screen um, to test it. Going through channels is done by using the up and down keys. 41 Central, we're on the scene. Medic 41. Has two separate channels um, that it can monitor at the same time. It cannot receive both at the same time, only um, only monitor, basically like scanning between the two. If it, um, if it receives a signal on one channel, it will, um, it will remain on that channel, only that channel until the signal stops. Of course, you can switch between the channels with this button if you wanted to switch between the channels during a transmission. Um, that's about it for the outside of it. It's a very nice little radio, seems to be very sturdy. I've dropped it several times, and Central 7, that's, 13, then. I've dropped it several times, and it uh, seems to be holding up really well. However, one time the antenna did come apart a little bit, but um, it was really easy to get back together. belt clip I really like really handy and here's the charging station um, the light indicates what's going on if it's red it's charging if it's green it's full if it's flashing something's wrong um, real simple there 
Anyway, great little radio. I purchased mine for 50 bucks. I also bought a speaker mic with it. Um, it has only one push to talk button, which as a side note, if you use that push to talk button, it will only talk on channel B, the bottom channel. Um, no, um, there's no way to make the speaker mic talk on channel A. It can still monitor both, but you can only talk on channel B. Anyway, the speaker mic has a swiveling clip. Um, it's really handy if you if you're out and about with this radio. I received good reports on the local ham radio repeater. Um, it seems to be an overall good radio. It has a very, very nice volume for its size. Um, you can get a lot of noise out of that speaker. Well, uh, I think that's about all for the Baofeng UV82L.